Hello children, how are you? How are you today? I am good, I am well. What about you? Hello kids, welcome to Savita Pode Academy. This is our science lecture for class 3rd CBC board. Kids, today we start our fourth one new chapter. Title is Soil. Kids, text book given here, one picture. I am saying look at the picture given below. Mayuri is looking at a handful of soil from her garden. List any five different things she would have found in it. Kids, if you turn your this one textbook, this type, you got your answers. Pebbles, sand, dead plants and animals, clay and water. That one, all objects you should write here. Fill in the blanks. Okay, kids. Kids, today is our first one chapter. Now, come to the point. How soil is a form? Let us how learn how soil is form. First one, soil is formed by the breaking down of rocks. The sun's heat the rain and the wind also help in the breaking down of rocks. The process of breaking down of rocks lasts for thousands of years. First one, this type of rock. A very heavy and a strong rocks. Over time, rocks break into smaller pieces. Dead plants and animals also play a very important role in the formation of a soil. Soil is a very important for the growth of a plant. Thus, soil is formed by the breaking down of a rocks. It takes thousands of years to form a small amount of a soil. The color of the soil differs from place to place soil may be light brown in one place and dark brown in another place in india red soil and black soil are also found have you seen soil of different colors what do you think affects the color of a soil brown soil there is a plants growing very well you can see here different types soils this one red soil this one black black this one brown and another one mix soil here different colors of soils okay next one topic our what soil contains soil contains humes sand clay and pebbles Humus is made of, of the remains of dead plants and animals. Humus holds the water and food nutrients for the plants. It makes the soil fertilize. It is usually dark brown or a black. Clay consists of very fine powdered form of rock that feels smooth. Sand is the grainy part and consists of a bigger particles of a rocks. Pebbles are some small and smooth stones. Word is remains means a small parts of a dead plant and animals and nutrients means a material present in soil which are used to plants. And fertilize means a soil is a said to be fertilized when plants grow well in it and this one uh, pebbles tiny clay particles sand particles inside there this one uh, humus comparative size of a pebbles clay and sand particles here next one topic our soil contains water when some Garden soil is the heated in a container covered with a lid. Drops of water are noticed on the inside of the lid. This 
shows that soil contains water the water in the soil forms vapor when heated we all know vapor water vapor the vapor touches the lid and cools down to form droplets of water first one take soil in a container cover it and heat it then water drops because evaporate drops of water are formed on the inside of the lid and soil contains water we got second one next one chapter soil contains air when water is poured over soil kept in a jar air bubbles start forming this shows that soil contains air you can see here bubbles inside jar this shows that soil contains air trapped between its uh, particles when water is poured this air escape in the form of a pebbles now we learn about uses of soil some uses of soil are as follows plants need soil to grow they take in water and nutrients from the soil forms grow crops in the soil they make the soil fertile by adding many or crops grow well in a fertile soil without soil plants would have no place to grow plants are eaten as food by humans and animals manure means animal waste is that are mixed with soil to help plants grow well farmer grows crop in soil you can see here how beautiful crops here without soil how this one farmer grow crops it's not possible soil is home to many animals earth worms beetles and sand snails are some animals that live in a soils earth worm snails see here insect earth worms this one earth worms snails yes snails and ants live in a soil see and they make uh, the fertile soil okay kids from this one chapter one important summary was the earth soil is formed by the breaking down of uh, rocks it takes uh, thousands of years for the formation of soil soil contains stones sand clay water air and humus soil is important for both animals and a plant life kids i hope all you understood this one lesson in next lesson we solve our question answers till it bye bye kids